retrial application combined with retro pelvic junction obstruction is a rare clinical constellation, typically affecting the lower moiety. Understanding of the local anatomy and blood supply is mandatory to perform successful reconstruction. Our video illustrates preoperative workup, minimally invasive surgical management and follow-up in two patients with an UPJO of the lower moiety in a duplex kidney but with differing proximal incomplete fertile duplications. The surgical challenge increases in cases with the urethral junction in proximity to the UPJO. This 63-year-old male presented with intermittent left side flank pain over years. The ultrasound revealed a dilated bulocalitial system and the renal scintigraphy confirmed an obstruction. Retrograde examination shows a duplex kidney with incomplete urethral duplication and the lower ball UPJO in proximity to the urethral junction. Following reflection of the descending colon, the common ureter and lower pole renal pelvis are dissected. And thereby the upper pole ureter mobilized. Here you see the short, stricted urethral segment just above urethral junction. The upper pole UPJ is identified. Now the lower pole ureter is transected at the UPJ. The structured segment spatulated. Partially resected. Then large lower pole renal pelvis is medially incised. The resection left an approximately 5 cm free pending urethral segment in order to prevent ischemic complications we decided to resect this urethral segment. Thereafter, an upper to lower pole urethropulostomy is performed. The enlarged lower pole renal pelvis is reduced in size. With the use of anchor stitches, the semicircular retro pelvic anastomosis is sewn and the rim dimensioned renal pelvis closed. Pre- and post-surgery schemas illustrate the performed reconstruction with upper to lower pole urethropulostomy and lower pole pyeloplasty. Intravenous urography at three months shows both a wide left lower pole UPJ and an open proximal urethropulostomy. Similarly, to the previous patient, UPJO was diagnosed 
in this 30-year-old male with chronic left-sided flank pain. Retrograd examination shows a duplex kidney with incomplete urethral duplication and the lower pole UPJO. In this case, however, with a long proximal urethral segment. A crossing lower pole artery and a concomitant vein were identified as cause for the lower pole UPJO. UPJ is mobilized from the vessel pair and transected. In this case, the enlarged lower pole renal pelvis is incised on the ventral lip. The aim was to preserve the vascularization of the proximal ureter that runs alongside the posterior lip. For the same reason, only the ventral lip is resected to reduce the size of the renal pelvis. The transected ventralized ureter is spatulated. and the urethropelvic anastomosis sawn. Finally, the double J stand is repositioned and the redimensioned renal pelvis closed with a running suture. Again, the pre and Post-surgery schemas illustrate the performed reconstruction, in this case a slightly modified lower pulpiloplasty. Intravenous urography at 3 months shows an open left lower pole UPJ and a healthy proximal ureter. UPJO of the lower pole of a duplex kidney can be managed successfully by minimal invasive robotic assisted surgery. Careful preoperative imaging help to understand the local anatomy, specifically the length of urethral segment between the UPJO and the urethral junction determined the reconstructive approach. In addition, intraoperative findings impact the surgical strategy. Thank you for watching this video.